I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, Dr. Anamone, Mr. Citro, members of the board, faculty, family, and friends. On behalf of the Ma promoting class of 2018 at McApin Middle School, I would like to welcome you and thank you for being here on this special night. I am Gianna Sereno, a member of the McApin Student Council, alongside Delaney Brown, Mia Grizzuti, and Francesco Petrosillo. I want to start off by thanking my fellow student council members, as well as Mr. Jakes, for being an amazing advisor, for always dealing with us, always giving us a good laugh, and keeping us on track most of the time. We know we were definitely not the easiest group of people to keep focused, but he always found a way to do it. We made goals to change the school for the better and to give the students a voice, and Mr. Jakes helped us make as much as possible happen. This year at Maccabin has been extremely busy. We have accomplished so many things. The Make a Change Club, Student Council, and Mediators have all worked on projects and goals to help our school. In addition, we reached out to our West Milford community and even other parts of the world. These service activities help those in need while also bringing students and teachers together. In September, we kicked off our activity nights with West Milford Pride and we quickly moved to October to one of our biggest events of the year, the Spooktacular. The first part of this fundraiser was on a Friday night. The teachers tried their best to scare the pants off of the students who attended the activity night. The next evening, we collaborated with the High School Student Council to create a spooky and enjoyable night for families in our town. Through this amazing fundraiser, we were able to donate over $5,000 to the Hurricane Relief Fund. In November, as a way of being thankful for what we have, we helped those not as fortunate. We had a country-themed activity night. Students donated 250 cans of food to Hurricane Harvey victims in Texas. For the holidays, we had our giving tree. For this, students donated toys and books for children who sadly aren't as fortunate as us. The Student Council also had a holiday sale during lunches and used the proceeds to buy more gifts to send off. We sent a total of 200 presents to the Toys for Tots Foundation and to local churches. Thanks to the Make a Change Club, we got to witness super teams of teachers make fools of themselves while going head-to-head -head in competitions in our annual Give a Goat Night. 
This fundraiser paid to send 22 goats to less fortunate villages in South America. They also gave $1,000 to a former student's family who is struggling with a chronic illness. Finally, our biggest student council event, the Rockathon. The Rockathon had students get sponsored to rock and rocking chairs for 12 hours nonstop. The student council, as well as the help of motivators, created themes and fun activities to make each of the 12 hours as enjoyable as possible. A total of $5,500 from sponsors and donating families was given to the Irish Whisper Foundation that honors a former McPhin teacher and raises money for lymphoma research. A special thanks belongs to our amazing PTA, who kept us well fed and energized during this long day. This year has definitely been successful and we should be proud of what we have accomplished. None of this could have been accomplished without the help of everyone. As you can see, we have done so much to help our community and beyond. I hope we can continue to help others as we move on to the next chapters of our lives. An African proverb says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. I think all the students sitting here in front of me have proven that great things get accomplished when we work together. Thank you and congratulations to Macbins Promoting Class of 2018. Dear teachers, family, staff, and the West Milford community supporting this journey each and everyone before you has faced. This life here at Maccabin has felt like a big escape room, a challenge, but in the end, all we want is to do it again. On that first day of seventh grade, our lockers seemed like unsolvable puzzles. Our teachers spoke in a riddle that sounded like riddles. The hallways were mazes we didn't know how to solve. The teachers and our friends that have guided us on our paths helped us escape the, the escape room and taught us that there is more than what meets the eye. We have created a family here at Macbin and know that no one is alone. We always helped one another on those tricky locks and riddles that normally throw us off our game. But as one, we solved each riddle together. A motivational speaker named Zig Ziglar once said, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations the best is yet to come. With all our first day struggles, we knew something good was gonna come. We knew in the end we would escape with the knowledge gained in each riddle. Our grades were always a hurdle as each test came and went. We usually found a way to redeem ourselves after a faulty test and knew how each problem could be resolved. Mr. Calamari's saying of make it happen always inspired us as we progressed in our day, even if it was just to take a test. We made it happen as we reached the end of our journey, and the codes and puzzles we unlocked made us one step closer to the next phase in our lives as we progressed through the escape room. Next came the clubs, activity nights, and sports we explored along the way. Sometimes the simplest things seemed to get into our heads, but in the end, we just smiled and laughed about it. The clubs and activity nights were an after-school highlight that relieved the stress applied every day. These clubs were a lock that only we could solve as they came easier to us than others in our journey. In each struggle, something good always came. We figured out the answer in a flash. Our trips Fairview, Washington, and Broadway have helped us realize our true friends, our true strengths, and our true selves. These trips made our lives easier as our lives got harder. Each turn and key unlocked helped us escape, and the trips sweetened the journey. In Fairview, the challenges of new strangers faced us head on, but once we realized that we were all in the same boat, we quickly made friends. I remember fabulous food, the long ridge hike, and endless memories produced in only three days. During this trip, we'd, we could explore nature while gaining a few friends. These friends gave us good laughs and made our lives easier as we completed the puzzle. The small moments like day trips, Aladdin, Wiccan, and Dorney will always hold a place in our hearts and not just because we got out of school. With the gooey funnel cakes and roller coasters at Dorney and fabulous singing with magical lights at Broadway, we never seemed to experience a dull moment, literally. The trips were a hidden code easily solved and, another, and just another step towards the end. Then we finished off these years with Washington and the promotion dance. Washington was a life-changing experience from the monuments to the inspirational ceremonies we encountered in the three days. 
In Washington, we were excited as we shared unforgettable memories with our friends, creating a bond that grew stronger in each day. We didn't feel as though we were learning as we laughed through each situation, making the most out of everything. At the promotion dance, we partied until our feet gave out. The dancing made all our worries go away as another lock opened up to the home stretch finals. Through each year, we dreaded the end as we knew finals were just around the corner, the hardest puzzle of them all. We studied, prepared, and stressed about the tests that could make or break us. With only five minutes left of, to the escape room, this riddle seems unsolvable. But we pulled ourselves together to get a grade worth celebrating, and we knew it was all over. Once our journey came to an end, as the last puzzle fell into place, we realized that the journey was worth it. Throughout each day, we all realized that this journey, all two years of it, has been the funniest, craziest, and most enjoyable time of our lives. In these two years, we packed in all the memories which we, that we could, which is impressive. Each small moment made a difference, from the crazy Mr. Jakes, the teachers, inspirational quotes, and Highlander pride. These and many other memories flow through our blood as the school has left a mark on our hearts. The late night studies, endless essays, and challenging stories are only our beginning for a new life, but the end of another. High school is just a step away and will face us with new challenges, obstacles, and thrills as our journey is far from over. We leave Maccabin happy to finally finish a long puzzle, but in the end, all we want is to do it again. We leave this family in success knowing we won together. We fought as one, and as the National School of Character, we made it as a team. I challenge you to keep striving for what you believe. Joshua J. Marine said something truly empowering. Challenges are what makes life interesting, and overcoming them is what makes life meaningful. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Dr. Anamone, Mr. Novak, Dr. McQuaid, Mrs. Francisco, members of the board, parents, honored guests, staff, and especially you, our Maccabin class of 2018. Tonight, we promote the 41st class for Maccabin Middle School. As I sat down to write this speech, I thought about how excited you all must be feeling, sitting in those chairs with your proud parents and families looking down on you. As we listened to Dylan, she referred to life at Maccapin as a challenging escape room. Many times those challenges can be unpleasant and uncomfortable, but I'm happy to say that all of you have survived those challenges and have escaped as better students and better people. When you came to us two short years ago, you were younger, less mature, and probably a little frightened as to what your future would hold. Since that time, you have aged, you've matured, and you've successfully made your way through Maccapin School. You leave us ready to face the challenges that lie ahead, and I'm sure you are proud of what you have accomplished during your time here with us. You've all worked hard, and you deserve to be recognized and honored here tonight. However, you could not have gotten here without the help and support of your families and friends. I would like to take a moment so that you can applaud your families for everything they've done for you over the last two years. Another group that has helped you get here tonight is our PTA. This dedicated group of people have worked behind the scenes for all of you. Would the members of our PTA executive board please stand? Just like you, I need help and support throughout the school year. I'm fortunate enough to be able to count on the people around me that make a great place in Maccapin for you. First, I would like to thank Mr. Stryance, our assistant principal. He's worked hard to organize and run our many trips, and has also worked closely with many of you to help navigate the social obstacles that middle school can bring. This is a bittersweet night for us. It will be Mr. Stryance's last promotion ceremony here at Maccapin. On Monday, he will officially begin his tenure as the new principal of West Milford High School.
Mr. Shryans, we will miss you, and on behalf of all of our students and staff, good luck. There are a couple of more people who I would like to thank as well. First, Dr. Alex Anamone, our superintendent of schools. I can truly say that Dr. Anamone is a huge supporter of Macapin School, and we thank you very much for that. Also with us tonight, Mr. Daniel Novak, our Director of Education. <laughs> Dr. Elizabeth McQuaid, our Director of Special Services. <laughs> and Mrs. Barbara Francisco, our School Business Administrator. <laughs> I would also like to thank Mr. Pacioni and our seventh grade band members for playing for us tonight. I'd also like to thank Mrs. Fink, who's our promotion coordinator, and her crew of volunteers who worked so hard to make this night such a huge success. And finally, our Board of Education members who are with us tonight and those who could not be here tonight. Their dedication and support does not go unnoticed, and I thank you for that. Would our board members please stand to be recognized? You all as students, and I as principal, are so lucky to be surrounded by an outstanding staff filled with teachers, supervisors, aides, administrative assistants, and custodians. Would all of our Macapin staff members please stand so our parents and children can show you their appreciation. Each year, some of these dedicated staff members make the decision to retire. Our first retiree has been a part of the Macapin staff for the past 26 years. She has served as the secretary in the child study team office many years ago, and most recently as the administrative assistant to the principal. When I first became an administrator, everyone said to make sure to get a good administrative assistant. I've been fortunate enough to have that on every step of my journey so far. This woman has been more help to me than I could ever put into words, and she will never know how much I am grateful to her. Mrs. Schmicker, would you please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Our next retiree has served the West Milford community for the past 23 years. She's been a tremendous asset to our students and staff during her time with us. Throughout her career, she has worked with thousands of students as our school psychologist. She's built tremendous relationships with many of our students, families, and of course our staff members. I hope that she truly enjoys her retirement as she heads down south to warmer weather, all the way in the back, Mrs. Christine Dean. As Gianna said, you of students have made a difference in the lives of so many in your town, your state, your country, and in the world. You raised money for hurricane victims, played volleyball for lymphoma research, donated your pennies for the Leukemia Foundation, and rocked, to the, rocked in chairs to the tune of almost $6,000. Additionally, we've sent numerous care packages off to our brave troops and our dogs serving overseas. Whether it be through all these events or your daily interactions with your peers and your staff members, you have all consistently shown us how much our character matters every day. A great example of this character took place on our recent Washington trip. Our plans got delayed and we were forced to spend an extra hour in Arlington Cemetery. With little to do and the sun beating down on us, you were quiet, well-behaved, and respectful. I couldn't have been more proud of you that day. That single hour, in my mind, has come to represent this year's class. Macapin is a better place because you have left your mark. Someday, we'll hear of your great accomplishments and we will remember you all with pride. Tomorrow night, I'll have the privilege of attending the high school graduation and seeing all of our former students receive their high school diplomas. I look forward to that same experience for, for you four years from now. Your future is so bright and the possibilities are limitless. 
Please work to your potential and enjoy your high school experience. I recently heard a song on the radio and found some of the lyrics to be really meaningful. The songwriter reminds us all to get along down the road as we've got a long, long way to go. Later in the song, he goes on to tell us that we ain't perfect, but we try. Though I can't say I love the grammar, I do like the message. Please heed Gianna's words, stick together, look out for each other, and enjoy the ride. On behalf of all of us in Akapin, good luck. Each year, the President of the United States recognizes academic success in the classroom. Those students recognized tonight have an A average and have taken at least one honors class while at Macapin. 57 students in this group have qualified for this prestigious honor. Would the students who received the President's Award for Educational Excellence please stand up and be recognized? One of the great honors at Macapin School is to be inducted into the Thomas A. Kraft chapter of the National Junior Honor Society. These students must maintain a 3.75 GPA throughout their two years at Macapin. They must also excel in the areas of leadership, character, service, and citizenship. This year we inducted 52 of our students. Would the 2018 members of the National Junior Honor Society please stand? Each year, staff members recognize individual students for outstanding achievement in the content areas. This time, I'd like to present those awards. For outstanding achievement in visual art, Mr. Cowley would present the award to Natalia Baba, but she couldn't be here tonight. So we will make sure Natalia gets her award, but I think she deserves a big round of applause. Presenting the award for outstanding achievement in business education is Mr. Digos. And that award goes to Abigail Kasha. Very smooth. Presenting the French Award, Ms. Garcia. That award goes to Sarah Pachocchio. Our German Award will be presented by Mr. Sondermeyer. That award goes to Faith MacArthur. <laughs> Outstanding achievement in an individualized program will be presented by Mrs. Kuhn. And that award goes to Emmanuel Acosta. Our next award for outstanding, outstanding performance in instrumental music will be presented by Ms. McPartland and Ty Rocky. That award goes to Mark Sadlow.
Our next award is our Italian Award, presented by Mr. Shelby. That award goes to Sasha Butterworth. <laughs> Presenting our Language Arts Award is Mrs. Fink. A Language Arts Award goes to Sasha Butterworth. <laughs> Our Mathematics Award is presented by Mrs. Fear. This year's recipient is Amanda Jelonic. <laughs> Outstanding Achievement in Multimedia will be presented by Mr. Digos. And that goes to Haley Schmier. <laughs> Our male physical education award will be presented by Mr. Fink. And that award goes to Colin Madera. <laughs> Our female phys ed award will be presented by Mrs. Grimshaw. That award goes to Je Jenna Hodgson. Sorry, Jenna. <laughs> Our Outstanding Science Award will be presented by Ms. Alexander. This year's recipient, Shane Duffy. <laughs> Mr. Calamari will present the History Award. This year's award goes to R.C. Sidoli. Mr. Shelby is back to do our Spanish award. That award goes to Victoria Ivanchik. Our STEM award will be presented by Ms. Reynolds. That award goes to Jenna Hodgson. Our last award of the evening, the Vocal Award, will be presented by Ms. Barry.
That award goes to Aiden Becker. Congratulations to all of you. <laughs> Dr. Anamone, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the Macapin class of 2018. Maybe see it, boys and girls. Thank you. Good evening, Macapin people. This is one of those moments when the superintendent wishes he had cross-referenced his speech with Mr. Citro's speech, because there's going to be a lot of overlap here tonight. Um, but that's OK, because these are some wonderful people, and this is a, uh, a, a wonderful event we have every year. Um, it's always tough to be the last speaker before we present certificates, um, but I really just wanted to thank some people as uh, Mr. Citro did as well. Uh, thank you to our Board of Education President, Linda Van Dyke, Board of Education Vice President, Terry Dwyer, for coming here this evening. Board members, Ray Garino and Will Seidowitz, thank you for coming. Thank you to Macman Principal, Mark Citro, and at his final Macman graduation, Assistant Principal, Matt Stryans. I think I speak for the entire West Milford community when I say I'm happy to see you moving on to the high school next week. Good luck. Thank you to the Macapin staff for all your hard work and dedication over the past two years with our children. Most of all, thank you to our parents, family members, and loved ones for everything you do for your children and for our students. And lastly, thank you and congratulations to our graduating eighth grade students on behalf of the entire Board of Education, I wish you the best of luck as you enter West Milford High School in the fall. I hope you all enjoy your summer vacation. I look forward to seeing you in September. Thank you very much. Sophia Murata. Zachary Zapatelli. Sarah Pachocchio. Jason Frank. Amaya Falby. Luke Gonzalez. Stephanie Wong. Luke Slifer. Abigail Kasha. Michael Brazili. Caitlin Lynch. Jacob Cohen. 
Kelly DeMott. Zachary Proctor. Katina Gloria. Jake Zachar. Valerie Murphy. Christian Haas. Valerie Lucarello. Sean Trelor. Abigail Crane. Mason Fernbacher. Abigail Zweil. Matthew Merzinki. Alexandra Forgi. Joshua O'Mealy. Juliet De Benedetto. Evan Glick. Maya Travieso. Luke Mulligan. Madison McIlrath. Christopher Albar. Julia Vandenberg. Charles Coolas. Kayla Ayanos. Jonathan Basil. Alexis Schechter. Nathaniel Vanderwert. Bethany Capobianco. Christopher Smith. Brooke Weston. Nicholas Lamoth. Paige Weston. Matthew Woodard. Mia Ravallo. Michael Ringressi. Rachel Chandler. Connor Rabarzik. Georgiana Barrett. Ebenezer Thomas. Melanie Talixson. Zachary Majenka. Rebecca Benowitz. Joshua Master. 
Sofia Asiego. Aiden Becker. Isabel Gloucester. Vaughn Hurst. Caitlin Botcher. Patrick Hensley. Michelle Stein. Timothy Butcher. Megan Splee. Zachary Rodak. Stephanie Waldo. David Rodriguez. Callie Moore. Cole Hamilton. Megan McFadden. Ashton Stymax. Nikki Galella. Shane Duffy. Kaylin Kolatak. Zachary Bidwell. Katie Scala. Cody Hamilton. Haley Schmier. Sean Moore. Stephanie Barianis. Daniel Preziosi. Farah Bechiers. Jeremy Voice. Maya Starr. Ryan Gable. Chloe Adler. Matthew Dierico. Jillian Hayde. Deontay DeGroote. Olivia Kuchavik. Tyler Barker. Jocelyn Sanchez. Liam Indo. Amy Duran. Logan Geritano. Caitlin Keimer.
Connor Strzok. Raina Singleton. David Jones. Madeline Storch. Jonathan Tafuri. Jessica Frank. Gustav Lindstrom. Kara Gaddish. Jason Donahue. Kyra Gossett. Connor Smith. Victoria Ivanchik. Matthew Cochan. Mia Grizzuti. Tyler Harris. Shayla Stillman. Emmanuel Acosta. Amanda Jelanik. Michael Harrison. Jenna Hodgson. Jacob Hag. Lorelai Isley. Avery Thurston's. Chloe Hasick. Daniel Jans. Kylie Perillo. Aiden Bolger. Ava Efrain. Mark Sadlow. Ellie Hanfilly. Alex Sanchez. Thea DeMarco. Nicola Granada. Gianna Serrano. Isaac Real. Alyssa Hetty. Brian Zaniga. Grace Syme. Jomar Nuesi. Julia Osterley.
Aiden McGuire. Emily Hearn. James Snyder. Morgan Tedisco. Joshua DeGraff. Olivia Arsenega. Tanner Christie. Abigail Weiss. Dylan Principato. Samantha Arujo. Sheldon Stanton. Samantha Platt. Michael Petronasi. Gianna Levon. Derek Montesano. Liliana Sanchez. Seamus McGinnis. Jillian Abood. Darren Ricker. Marielle Marquez. Dylan Connors. Zanasia Lewis. Thomas Dinzik. Emma Dikenga. Ethan Noss. Amy Zhang. Cody Eldridge. Nicole Saparito. Richard Sadoli. Cynthia Vigna. Kyle Major. Kelly Carlino. Oakley Vaca. Colleen Crosby. Colin Goldberg. Brandy Inglesius. Cato Locus. Tristan Caffrey. Anthony Zabrowski. Sienna Sims. Andrew Didimer. 
Gabriella Klimchuk. Chase Appel. Brianna Lentz. Andrew Malik. Amber Menier. Kai Foster. Angelica Goncalves. Nicholas Wilson. Isabella Perez. Mason Decker. Sarah Koblitz. Wyatt Bott. Faith MacArthur. Dylan Baker. Kaylee Haftek. Brian Henkel. Victoria Holm. Christian Costanza. Brenna Lacardis. Anthony Pepe. Emily Geller. Jake Wimes. Olivia O'Mahony. Noah Amari. Kate Juskowitz. Zachary McPhee. Catherine Jonas. John Jones. Erin Harvey. Zachary Brown. Rebecca DeTuro. Cole Smith. Gianna Edmond. Xander Masenko. Alexandria Butterworth. Owen Cole. Kayla Healy. Corin Vaughn. Bryn Cornwell. Keith Carpenter. Dylan Orsino. (laughs) 
Shane Yodice. Madison Babcock. Aldridge Hernandez. Quinn Pierce. Zachary Treptow. Tyler McDowell. Michael Rottenberg. Kyle Benarski. Colin Madera. Ralph Turry. Nicholas Zagat. Nicholas Stonkich. Michael Briganti. Charles Beagle. Matthias Erickson. Declan Wallace. Lucas McDonald. Brandon Para. Cade McDaniel. Jaden Franco. Deshaun Milligan. Joshua Calderon. Nicholas Butterworth. Caleb Ratcliffe. Francesco Petrosillo. Delaney Brown.